Yo folks, it's your host here, Nick D. I'm um, just going to show you sort of little things I have in my um, garage gym today. Uh, I got sent a message by somebody asking, um, you know, what sort of equipment I have in here. So I'm just going to do a bit of a rundown. So first up, the most important thing you can have, besides the pink iPod, is the um, tune side. Turn that down a bit. Probably one of the most important items you can have. So we'll just start over here. So these are probably the first thing I've got. Um, first thing that obviously started me in the uh, weight training. Um, some old York York uh, barbell set and dumbbells. Um, yeah, we actually found these. Me and my brother found them um, under an abandoned house. Um, I think they're actually stolen, but we're claiming them anyway. And the cops didn't want them, so that's what first started it. Stolen goods. Uh, move on to outside. So basically, it's a tractor tire sitting there, which was free. A few concrete atlas stones here. The sled over there as well. A few farmers' bars. And the keg sitting up there. So a lot of the stuff kind of ranges from some of the kegs were free, um, tyres are free, and um, then the atlas stones uh, cost a bit, cost a bit of money, and also to buy the uh, moulds to make them as well. And I had to actually get a welder to make up the farmer's bars, and then also to make up these, make up a couple of sleds as well. They got made up, but they came pretty good. Yeah, let's get a bit of PVC pipe there, cut up an old slosh pipe. And just a foam roller and some mats at the moment. And also just got some gymnastic rings and those uh, softball pull-ups. I can use that for chin-ups and um, other sort of um, training if I want to. Got the gymnastic sort of training, bust the rings out. Got the uh, super yokes down in there. A bit of strongman training and just the uh, wheelbarrow, so it's a multi-purpose piece of equipment. Use it both for training and um, doing general stuff around the house as well. And just got the Atlas stones, Atlas stone mould sitting over here, which used to make most of the stones. And just some boxing bags and stuff. So got the kettlebell sitting over here. Some more boxing stuff. And just some thick pipe as well. And some old magazines back in the day. Here we got here. Got Lee Priest. Big fella. A couple of flex ones. Back in the day when I used to read this stuff. Muscle Mag. Iron Man. So Muscle and Fitness. Stack stuff here. To get rid of that stuff. And just some more grip training implements. A couple of sandbags and stuff. Old mate sitting up there. It's a whiteboard. And then for some more general reading. Some book the Mormons gave me the other day. When they were going around. And yeah, that's basically it. My trusty tripod. Definitely need to upgrade to a different camera. Zippy tying it to a tripod just isn't working anymore. So there you have it, folks. That's basically it. Um, do plan on actually making an Olympic lifting platform and putting it in here, which will be quite interesting, so I'll make sure, make sure I film that as well. Um, but yeah, that's basically the garage gym as it is at the moment. Um, big plans come in the future. Put some more gear in here as well. And um, yeah, hope that helped you guys, um, helped you who was um, interested in uh, what sort of stuff I have you. But basically, you, can, you know, start off, start off, get stuff for free, um, tires for free. Sometimes you can find kegs for free. Just get as much free stuff as you can. Sandbags are pretty cheap to make, and uh, just get some basic equipment, even gymnastic rings. Um, you can do quite a, a few different things with them. 
um, and just start up that way and then you can invest in the, your sort of your squat racks and your barbells and um, bump plates and other sort of things down the track. Um, yeah guys, uh, catch us later, peace.